purpose of the GPS option is to allow the user to carry out drive tests with the objective of mapping the coverage of a specific terrestrial transmitter. To activate this feature, go to the settings menu and select Band Terrestrial. In case of tuning a DBBT2 signal, in the Signal Parameters menu, select the Profile, Base or Light, and the PLP identifier. The user needs to choose one profile and one PLP before starting the signal coverage analysis. Access the Spectrum mode and press F3, Signal Coverage. You will need to connect the GPS receiver provided along with the meter if you purchase this option. Press F4, Advanced, and select the configuration option for setting up how the coverage analysis measurements will be taken. Here we can set the name of the file where all the measurements will be stored, add some comments in the comments field, choose whether we want the coverage measurements to be taken manually every time we press the joystick or continuously with a specific sampling rate. This sampling rate is set in the sample time field. The minimum sampling time is one second. Span time defines the span of time shown in the horizontal axis in the graph being displayed on the screen. Finally, Save to will let you choose between saving the monitoring file in the internal HD Rangers memory or in an external drive which can be connected to the meter through the USB physical interface. Before we start our coverage analysis, we need to confirm that the GPS receiver is in locked status and receiving the GPS geolocation data. We can see this in the lower right corner of the screen as well as in the advanced menu by entering the GPS status tool. Here we are shown a list and a graph with satellites detected which are potential candidates for receiving the GPS data. All those satellites we are logged to are shown in blue color. Now we are ready to launch our signal coverage analysis. We can do so by accessing to the advanced menu once again, pressing F4 and selecting start. The monitoring task can be paused at any moment pressing on pause or finalized by pressing stop. In the left part of the screen, the meter shows us the spectrum analyzer current trace under the span previously selected in the spectrum analyzer mode. Below that, we can see the continuous acquisition of the power level, carrier to noise and MER measurements for each sample through time. In the right part, the frequency being monitored is shown, along with some additional information such as the power level, carrier to noise, and MER measurements values. The elapsed time since the signal coverage analysis started, number of samples taken, and space left in the memory drive used. Once the signal coverage analysis is stopped, the signal coverage file will be closed and three plots will be displayed on screen showing you the complete set of samples. You can go over all the samples across the plots and visualize on the right the values for all the quality measurements. Power level, carrier to noise, signal frequency offset, MER, pre-VR, post-VR, link margin and GPS data. All this information is included in the signal coverage file for all samples. Once we have reviewed these plots, we can close them by pressing F1, close, to go back to the signal coverage main screen.